Hey, this is Eileen Fernandez Parker from Cultivating the Learning. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use data that you received through a Google form and you only collected the person's email. So now you have to get rid of the email extension and you also need to uh, separate the person's name out. We're also going to have to do some app smashing with Google Docs so that we can get the first and last name capitalized so that if we decide to use a mail merge or use this for anything, um, the names are capitalized properly. So the first thing we're going to do, what I like to do is hit the select all. And then I like to double click in between any two column headers so that everything is reformatted to the right column width. And then I'm going to delete the timestamp because I don't need that. Next, I need to get rid of the at charleston.k12.sc.us. So I'm going to select column A. I'm going to go to the Edit menu, and I'm going to choose Find and Replace. And then I'm going to paste in the at charleston email, and I'm going to replace it with a space bar. And at that point, I'm going to hit Replace All, and it only replaces it from the column that was highlighted. doesn't matter whether you have two or 200. Notice they're all done. I can close that window. So now I'm going to resize column A. I need an extra column in between A and B. So I'm going to right click and choose insert one to the left. Resize that. And I'm going to select column A. I'm going to go to data, split text to columns. This window opens up down here. Whoop, let me try that again. Data, split text to columns. This window here opens up for you. So you can have it detect automatically, but this is a custom. So I'm going to insert the underscore and notice the computer automatically did it before I even hit enter. And I can just click to make that window go away. I'm going to change the email address header to first and then last. Now you can see that I still have a capitalization problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of the people's names and I'm going to copy them. And then I'm going to go to File, New, Document to open up a Google Doc. The reason I need to do this is because there are formatting features in Docs that are not in Sheets. So I'm going to paste all of those names. Here they go. And now I'm going to have to highlight them again so that I can tell the computer that I want to uh, format. I'm going to go to Format, Text, Capitalization, and then Title Case. And now all of the names are automatically capitalized. So before I click anywhere to remove the highlight, I'm going to copy all of those names in their newly formatted way and i'm going to click back on the spreadsheet i'm going to click in the first cell and i'm going to paste those new cells now notice the first cell went in the cell below it so i have to highlight the first and last name from row two just the first and last name and I'm going to delete those cells and tell it to shift everything up by one. And now I'm going to go down to the bottom, make sure they're lined up. They are. And now I have information that I can mail merge if I want to make name tags or if I want to make um, table tags, if it's for a wedding or if it's for a, a reception at a school. Uh, I can also... Um, sort now by all different kinds of features. If this was helpful for you to you, hit the like button underneath the video.